Executive Vice President, Ms. Edith Vicente, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Tarja Italino, Vice President for Admin and Finance, Engineer Jasdado Tiliano, my dear colleagues, deans, program heads, faculty and staff, parents, dear students, and distinguished guests, a pleasant afternoon to everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought us many challenges. In the past 24 months, causing temporary shutdown of schools in the country, it has forced all of us to think of ways on how we can make and you continue your learning. Despite the deadly presence of this virus, slowly the world gets to adjust in this virus through the inventions of vaccines, which resolve half of the worries of the human kind. Despite these struggles, we managed to deliver education that is relevant, responsive, and compassionate with utmost considerations to our marginalized students. And now, and we are on the pipeline of adjusting from distance to face-to-face -face education, we all still agree that education is vital in making our country stand again as we are now facing the aftermath of COVID-19. For today's significant event in time of post-pandemic era, we are very much privileged to hear one of the empowered women who makes education in the tertiary levels possible. Her contribution to CHED is really incomparable, especially during the pandemic, in which her resilience, agility, and flexibility has been tested and has been proven to resolve concerns and issues during pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, our today's keynote speakers is a doctor of philosophy, major in educational management. Graduated in March 1999 at Angeles University, Pampanga, and a Bachelor of Law graduate in March 2002. Our empowered woman is a passer of numerous examinations, which includes Management Aptitude Test Botany, Philippine Board Examination for Teachers, and Career Service Professional Examination. Her work experiences centered on leadership and management of curriculum and human resource development. Let me read of, of some few positions she served and occupied. Out of several pages that I have right now, because if I'm going to read all of this, perhaps we need to book this venue for three days. So I will just read some. Our keynote speaker, is a Chef Central Luzon Regional Office Week Director for in January 2022 up to present. And Chef Caraga Regional Office 13 as Director for in January 1, 2019 to January 2, 2022. Chef National Capital Region Office at National Capital Region as Director for. And in Chef Regional Office, for a Calabarzon region as director for. She is also a member and board of trustees of the Philippine Institute of Traditional and Alternative Healthcare, a regional chairman, expanded student grants in aid program of poverty and alleviation, a member, board of directors of Southern Tagalog Associations of Regional Executive, Chat Regional Office 11, Davao Region in Davao City, as Director for Our distinguished guest was also once like a student like you, who have eyes and heart for research and innovations, which is evident in her several research presentations in the past years as evident on the following paper presented. Our honored and humble leaders is 
also recipient in several awards and recognitions mentioned on the following citations from 1996 to present. Citations and recognitions from civic organizations and line agency, organizations from higher education institutions during school activities like commencement exercises, symposia, induction ceremonies as guest and keynote speaker and lecturer as well. Truly our keynote speaker for today's momentous event in post-pandemic time is really a symbol of hope, success, and empowerment, which is one of the most important commodities for students like you who dream of becoming the best version of themselves. As we step forward, they're reaching our dreams despite challenges confronting us. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming and recognizing our distinguished and honorable woman, no other than our dear Regional Chief Director for a round of applause to Dr. Leonida B. Sigua Colagi. So thank you very much. You may now take your seat. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lailani, for that very nice introduction. Sabi ko sa kanya, just say I am the regional director of Chesil 3. Then I said, baka naman mahaba pa introduction mo, kisa do sa sasabihin mo. Well, anyway, uh, thank you very much, no? Uh, by a note that was given to you. Okay, so to our dear and beloved president of Best Rical College Philippines, uh, uh, President Maria M. Vicente, to our uh, executive uh, vice president, Ms. Edith uh, Vicente, our uh, Vice President for Administration and Finance, uh, Engineer Josdado Lieno. Our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Charlie Carino. Our Campus uh, Directress, Bulacan Campus, Dr. Lailani Kusak. Other school officials, deans of the different colleges, Program heads, administrative staff, faculty members, my dear proud parents, graduates of batch 20, 2020 or school year 2022, ladies and gentlemen, maganda hapon po sa ating lahat. Good afternoon. Sa kapampangan po, itong uh, kapampangan, mayang pagkat panahon kaya po nga. Sa Ilocano, naimbag nga aldaw kaya kayo nga. Okay, this indeed an honor and a privilege to be invited in this very memorable moment in the lives of everyone. Let me extend my heartfelt thanks and appreciation, of course, to our dear President, we send Dr. President uh, Vicente for inviting me to be part of this significant event in the life of the institution to speak before these graduates of Batch 2022 with the theme, BCP Graduates Paving the Way Towards Innovative Approaches in Shaping a Post-Pandemic future. My warm congratulations to all of you, the whole academic community, its officers and staff, the proud parents and guardians, and of course, our graduates. 
I am sure that you have all the reasons to be proud of your achievements today. After long years of patience and hard work, at last, you are here today to reap the fruits of your labor. I listen to your song closer to your dreams. Your dreams has already been achieved. Today is the realization of your dream, my dear graduates. Palakpakan naman nila yung pangarap nila. You are not closer to your dream. Your dream has achieved today. The diploma which you are about to receive symbolizes the pains, frustrations, hardships, and struggles, as well as the triumphs during the years of your stay in this college. And for that, each one of you deserves to be congratulated. Palakpakan naman yung mga sarili niya ngayon. I am quite very sure that in the process, your school has adequately prepared you for the great challenges that await you in the vast horizon of life struggle by providing you with the right skills, knowledge, attitudes, and values, which will be your main weapons in coping up with the competition that exists in the area of your endeavor. We can also say that your school has empowered you with the capability to direct and control your lives, not only academically, but also economically, politically, socially, culturally, and even spiritually as a total person. My dear graduates, indeed, you are very lucky and fortunate enough because you are among those students who are privileged na magtapos ng inyong pag-aaral. Because not all students who would like to go to school can finish a degree like you. And because of this, of course, we have to give thanks and be grateful. And this is the time na kayo ay magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga naging instrumental in achieving your dream today. First and foremost, of course, you have to give thanks and appreciation to your parents and your guardians for giving you such an opportunity. Your parents and guardians really have sacrificed a lot and they labor so much to provide you everything that you need 